Hello guys, welcome to Dedicated Code, the one place where you will find server and management services. So, in this video, we are going to show you how to install cPanel on Ubuntu. Please make sure that we have already created a video series on Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, Cloud Linux, and CentOS for the cPanel installation. In that, we have already ex tried to explain all the possible settings, information, installation, securities, firewall, and there are a lot of things like SSL certificate, light speed technology, and there are a lot of things we are already covered in that particular video series. The main motto of dedicated core is to help you in self server management. But mainly, we would like to tell you one of the most important factors that is, when we comes to the server management, there are a lot of things need to be considered like server health, server performance, the hardware failure ratio, and securities. When we say all of this, the, we have seen that many businesses fail because of that and we highly recommend you if you are a highest level of technical, then you do management from yourself else we are there for you. So you can able to contact and buy server from us and also we will help you in the server management. Okay, so the why we are creating this video because we have mostly seen that some of the hardwares are does not support Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, Cloud Linux and CentOS. Two, Install cPanel, we has uh, only one option left, that is Ubuntu. So, we are going to create this video. So, let's start. Before starting, we has to disable the firewall available on the system. For that, we will enter this command. After that, we will stop UFW. Because by default on Ubuntu, UFW has installed. And once done, we will try to disable the USW. Done. One last thing. When we, taste, when we say cPanel, we need a minimum requirement of hardware. That is, first, we need Ubuntu 20.04 version. Second, we need 2.2 GHz processor. And the recommended is 2 GHz. When we say about RAM, so that time we recommend you to go with a 4 GB RAM minimum. And when we talk about the disk space, recommended one is 40 GB and the architecture obviously is 64 GB. Now, we will move further for the Perl installation. To install a Perl, we can able to use this command and hit enter. Please make sure that we can't go in the depth of the configuration because it's make it extremely difficult to understand. So we are going thoroughly. If you wanted to do a partition separation like swap, swap memory allocation slash memory allocation or home allocation. So that time we recommend you to go with our dedicated core server management plan in that we will help you in the setup at the core level things which cannot be explained in the public because each and every business has a separate requirements. Okay, so based on your requirement, we will set the configurations. Okay, so in this case, Perl installation has been completed. Now, the, when we talk about the file system, it should be ext4. Please make sure that your system should be ext4. If you don't know, so in this case, while installing OS, you can able to check that. And for that, there are various commands will be there. So you can able to go and check from the Google. Okay, so next is partition. So partition, uh, we are going to skip because it's not required in, the, in this case because our server hardware is 4 core uh, and more. So, we will go for the no inodes. Inodes we are not going to set here. Virtual environment also we are not going to do anything here. Because in the virtual environment here we are already using KVM technology. Okay, then next. After successful completion of all these things. Now it is time to install a C panel. Okay, before that I will highly recommend you to do one thing. That is update your repository. To update the repository, it is sudo space apt update. So in this case, now it is time for installation of cPanel. On the official side, you will find the command. Hit enter this. Enter this command. Please make sure that you should run on 20.04 version because they had be specifically mentioned that 22.04, 23.04 will not work. If you already install, then I will highly recommend you to reinstall 20.04 or you can able to download The video link is already given in the description so you can able to downgrade your version. Now, 
hit enter. You can see installation process has been started. This installation process will take around 15 minutes to 20 minutes. It's depend on server and network. So basically, meanwhile, complete this installation. Do not disconnect your internet. You can see that the cPanel installation has been completed successfully. Please watch this video because in the next two minutes, I'm going to share you some more important factors because this video is just the installation. After that, we need at least 10 to 15 videos to complete the entire setup. And please make sure one more thing, the setup we have shown in this video is all about how you can able to set up your basic servers so you run your cPanel based services. But in this process, we need to set our host name. Okay. To set the host name, we can able to follow cPanel how to change host name video given in the description and to create our custom name server because if you wanted to point your domain to the server you need to create a custom name server so that thing you can able to follow this video guides in this video guide we try to explain how you can able to set up custom name servers so whenever you add a domain into a c panel or whm you can able to follow uh, just updating the name servers okay so this is called as a custom name servers so in this particular videos we are already shown for different different providers like namecheap domain racer godaddy name uh, freenum and reseller club okay if you need any other information you can able to comment always we will help you in this please make sure that we are also available to manage the cpanel based services and to do advanced level settings and for your business we will customize the servers and for your business purpose there might be a lot of customization required in the tweak in the php apache and there are a lot of softwares as well it requires for to set up and manage the services let's say if you are working into the user based that is a web hosting customers so that time email spamming issue is the one of the most important factor that we need to consider for that we have a very good solution we will help you in that so you do not have to worry about email spamming from your server let's start the last process after that, here you can able to see that we had uh, installation process completed and they said that the IP address colon 2087, right? Okay, so we just need to go to the, our browser and paste the IP address. Since we installed cPanel, it will show you non-SSL. You can click on advance and go and process. After that, enter the URL username and the password that is nothing but your ssh username and password and once done you are on the screen here on we can able to follow alma linux series because in that particular series the further processes are explained in a very proper and clean manner and still if you need a management or you need a server or anything you can able to contact our dedicated core support and get your server desired for your business okay so we will close this video for now and you if you found any errors or any issues you can able to contact and get paid support from our support department